Dulwich Hamlet manager Gavin Rose has this week given some of his squad some playing time in a behind-doors friendly, whilst one first-team member has departed. Winger Roman Michael Purcell has been released by the club. The 21-year-old signed for Hamlet back in March and became a mainstay in the starting lineup as Dulwich scraped a playoff spot and also started in the final defeat to East Thurrock United. It was a different case for Michael Purcell at the start of the current season, with his first five appearances all coming from the bench. However, it was his eye-catching cameo against Hendon which helped pave the way for a run in the starting eleven, and during September he started six of Hamlet's seven games. The arrival of Ibris Akadja in October meant more competition for places, with the former Tottenham youngster starting just once more against Greenwich Borough in the Alan Turvey Trophy, a game he marked with his one and only goal for the club and his fifth assist of the season. This turned out to be his last outing in pink and blue, and in total Michael Purcell made 26 appearances, with 10 of those coming from the bench. Aside from Michael Purcell's departure, a Hamlet 11 took on a side from Bromley on Monday, winning by six goals to three. Several first-team players were involved to get some game time, including Sanchez Ming, Quade Taylor, Ibrahim Kargbo, Alfred Magabo and Danny Carr. Preston Edwards, Ibris Akadja and Reese Morrell williamson also played. Kargbo has been stepping up his training levels in recent weeks, having been out of first-team action since picking up an ankle injury in September's win over Grays Athletic in the League Cup. Despite being an unused substitute on six occasions since the start of October, Magabo has still yet to make his debut following a repeat of a meniscus tear injury during pre-season. Carr has been limited to just one start in Hamlet's last eight games with the arrival of Dabibi DeMarca and has also been hampered by a slight ankle knock.